Hi folks, welcome to my new channel, which is known as Let's Listen to Harvey Complain About the Weather. I mean, look at this snow. So we got about another six inches this morning that I cleared, and it's been kind of flurrying and doing what it's been doing, and uh, this is what's left. So anyway, I mean, look at this. Anyhow, so welcome to snow. My first thing, my first job every morning seems to be to get up and spend about three hours with the snowblower. Quality time, right? Good times. Uh, you know, Musty and I have been in communication. He's having a snow sale. For me, it's free. Come pick it up, take it all away. I don't want to see the snow anymore. All right, what am I up to today? Um, given obviously the bad weather, um, I've been trying to get some of these more indoor sit next to the wood stove projects done because it's warmer next to the wood stove than it is out in the snowbank. So there's the wood stove. Say hello. And you guys saw part of my eBay Christmas was this high performance what is that? Cassoni? Yeah, let's call it a Cassoni um, CDI box. It came with the coil, the yellow coil and it also came with an air filter and it's for a what is it? GYI scooter? It kind of goes to a scooter. This is a DC CDI box. Comes with this plug on the end and I really didn't have a way to mate up to that plug so I cut all the wires off except the on and off switch wire because I don't need to hook up to it. If you look very quickly at the color coding you see two greens. Big surprise those are ground. Red, big surprise that's power. No no issues there. Uh, the yellow, this guy right here, goes to the um, ignition coil. This guy, right, see the yellow. And the blue, once again, no big surprise, that goes to the pulser. Um, I drew out a quick schematic just to make life easy for all of us. Let's try to look at it. Okay, so Cassoni DC CDI. This is considered a high performance unit. And once again, the red power DC, right? 12 volts DC goes to ground. So those two green wires are ground. Keep going to ground. You're going to have a lot of stuff going to ground. So put a lot of wires on ground, like four or five of them, four I think. Well you got one there, then you're gonna have, well those two there all hooked to ground, then that's gonna hook to ground, that's gonna hook to ground, and if you want a kill switch that's gonna hook to ground, and your spark plug has to hook to ground. So you got a lot of things that hook to ground. By ground uh, for the spark plug I mean obviously the motor. So, we talked about the greens, we talked about the red, we're already half done, there's only six wires you got to hook up. Blue goes to the pulser, that's this thing, and you can see the blue wire right here, right, to the pulser. The other side of the pulser goes to ground, right, red, this goes to the battery, and then the battery goes to ground. You can see I did a bunch of hookups to ground here. I hooked them all up to black. Why did I hook them to black? Because I don't have any green, so there was a color change there. My bad. So, pulser's done. So, we've done the blue. The next one up is for the ignition coil, and that's yellow. See the yellow there? Very nice. And the other side of the coil goes to ground, which is part of the multi-black hookup I did. And obviously, you got the spark plug. See the spark plug? And you got a wire going to the spark plug, a black wire going to the spark plug. This wire right here. 
right? Because you have to ground the plug. The plug isn't just going to fire in midair. So that's this part right here. And last but not least is the kill switch, which I don't have hooked up because I'm trying to get this whole thing to work. There you go. So you can see your black, yellow, blue on this side. And from the bottom, pulse generator, ignition, on off switch. On the other side, red, no surprise. It's power. And then two greens, which are ground. And they're common grounds that you hook the battery to, you hook the pulser to, you hook the ignition coil to, and you hook the metal part of your spark plug to. And if you're trying to turn this whole thing off, you hook your kill switch to. Um, right now I have the kill switch floating because obviously I'm not trying to turn anything off. Let's see if I can't get this thing to spark for you using one hand. Just turn the battery on. This battery pack's a little low, so I'm not getting great sparks from it. Let's see if you can see this. I just gotta electrocute it. I'm sure why I gotta electrocute it. Okay. There you go. Problem is, I should be. Yeah. So, you guys can see I made it spark for you. Oh, come on, give us one more. Yep. Now, why would you want to put one of these together? Um, these guys, I don't have a lot of experience with them, but my uh, my buddy uh, William Statton does, and he uses a lot of these on his bikes. He likes to mess with the 300 uh, ES, which already has a 12 volt ignition system. For me, I got to hang a battery or you, you know get those. Um, um, little holders that hold four AA batteries. I get two of those, which gives me, you know, eight times a volt and a half, which gives me my 12 volts. So that's what I've been doing for my portable ignition system. But these things throw a nice hot spark, right? And it's kind of nice to have a spark that's independent of how quickly you kick over the engine right um as long as you have 12 volts there you got as much spark as this thing is going to give you uh real nice so that's what i like about it this thing also has the um ignition curve built into it you know when you're idling you really have no advance you expect your cylinder you expect your uh your spark to fire just before top dead center but as your RPMs increase, it does take a little while for the gas to burn and ignite and, and create the uh, power stroke. So you actually want your spark to be a little more advanced, hence the advance comment. So this has an electronic advance. And these guys, you know, with the little spring things, this has a mechanical advance. Because as this thing goes round and round, the weights fly out right which moves this thing forward from an advancing point of view what's better what's worse if you have a mechanical advance i mean they work uh the 200 s motor has been around forever and it's like rock solid bulletproof, proof so one should be very happy with it um the nice um, if you do use one of these by on a uh, something with a mechanical advance you just have to lock this thing in a non-advanced state otherwise you have two advances and your spark is too far before when your pistons ready to fire and you actually get a little pre-ignition you actually your um, your gas is firing um, and you're getting your power stroke before the cylinder hits completely on the top so you're kind of slowing the cylinder down right 
before it crosses the top you're kind of hitting it so you're slowing it down and then you're only getting part of your power stroke you're actually losing part of your power stroke that way so um you have to kind of get rid of this or you can kind of retard it a bit um but that might at idle you'll have no power though most of the time you don't have much power at idle um and if you retard it too much it might not start um so it's better to just kind of put this where it belongs and, and lock it in position such that the weights don't throw out and don't advance your ignition you let all the advance be done by this um what's good about these ignitions once again is they give you a real nice hot spark make it easy for you to start the motor uh, this guy the coil and it came with an air cleaner I got that I got it from um, a guy out in California um, and it was 35 bucks delivered with postage I could have got it for China these things are like 21 bucks from China they don't necessarily come with that um i think with that guy it might it might have been like f a few bucks more or maybe these things are 15 and the two of them are 21 bucks or 25 bucks or something like that from uh from china but i figured you know what for the extra 10 bucks i'll take the air cleaner i'll get it from california and i'll get it within a couple of days and quite honestly it did show up in two days which is good if you do put one of these together, put yourself a fuse in there. I recommend a one amp fast blow. That should be more than enough. Um, you should probably put an on and off switch in here too, right? In my case, I'm using the box, but put an on and off switch in there. Those kind of things, you know, they keep you from like burning things up and ending up with a flaming quad, right? That'll save you from coming out and finding your quad on in flames or your three wheel in frame flames one day uh so why do you use it get a nice hot spark which is good these have a nice advance so that you might get a little more power out of it and lastly these things here um one two advance hot spark easy to start shoot was one of the oh no rev limiter so you guys could um wind this up until the ex motor explodes um so that's something to look forward to yeah it won't it won't start clipping out on you this thing will just keep winding and winding and winding up so that gives you all the right reasons to have it right fast starts better acceleration more power and if you want to be stupid you can blow up your motor and then put it on youtube and everybody will find that amusing okay folks i want to thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing remember to keep your feet down keep your head up go out and shovel some snow even though you don't like doing it and remember to enjoy all your days have fun and enjoy all your time you don't know how much you're going to get so make sure you enjoy what you get bye now